If we blur our eyes, we can get a sense for the general structure of the world around us. A little less blur, and we can see some more nuance. If we go full resolution, we can see the total play of light and shadow on the surface. Here's an elevation model of the Rift Valley in Africa. I'm going to create two blurred versions of this elevation model. First, by 10 pixels, and then again by 20 pixels. I've effectively created three geographic scales of elevation. And next, I'll create three separate hill shades based on these three elevation models. First, I'll hill shade the first order structure. Then I'll hill shade that moderate structure. And then lastly, I'll hill shade the crisp elevation itself. And then I'll apply a standard deviation stretch to these grayscale images to best balance the gray tones from black to white. And then I'll turn everything off except for my crisp hill shade, and I'll give it an overlay blend mode to stitch its tones into the imagery. Then I'll do the exact same thing for my moderately blurry hill shade and my really blurry hill shade. The cumulative effect of all these layers can be a little bit overwhelming, but you can apply transparency to taste, including individually to layers. The result is terrain boosted imagery that replicates how light works at these three stages of geographic scale.